Well, it's nine o'clock and we will begin. Good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida on this Thursday, the 8th of April, 2021. It's my grandson's fourth birthday today. My name is Pam DeFelice and I am a member of Good Shepherd's daily office team the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. Beginning this week, this service is streamed live exclusively on Zoom. To participate in the live service, go to goodshepvirtual.org. Click on prayer and study and click on the link. The service leaflet for this morning service is also available on this page. Just look for today's date. This service will always be available beginning at 10 a.m. on all Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer and study page of goodshepvirtual.org. Good morning, Julie and Pete. Thank you. It's good to be seen. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let us begin. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen, Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him, Alleluia. Let us say together, Christ, our Passover. <clears throat> Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep for since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Good morning, Karen. Today, we will say Psalms 146 and 147 in unison. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in any child of earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and in that day, their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, 
who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lift ups those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the, day, the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Alleluia, how good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant it is to honor him with praise. The Lord rebuilds, rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He breaks the, the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. There is no limit to his wisdom. The Lord lifts up the lowly, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve mankind. He provides food for flocks and herds and for the young ravens when they cry. He is not impressed by the might of a horse. He has no pleasure in the strength of a man. But the Lord has pleasure in those who fear him, in those who wait his gracious favor. Worship the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates, he has blessed your children within you. He has established peace on your borders. He satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends out his command to the earth and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He scatters his hail like breadcrumbs who can stand against his cold? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He has not done so for so to any other nation. To them he has not revealed his judgments. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, Sherry. Our first reading is from Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me. And he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all round them. There were very many lying in the valley and they were very dry. He's, <clears throat> excuse me, he said to me, mortal, can these bones live? I answered, oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you and, you, and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded. And as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling. Suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, 
bone to its bone. I looked and there were sinews on them and flesh had come upon them and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy mortal and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. And I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves. O oh, my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel and you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O oh, my people, I will put you, I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and his rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise him. The God of my people and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The, shore, the Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The second lesson is from a reading from Acts, the book of Acts. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's portico, utterly astonished. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people, you Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety, we had made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the holy and righteous one and asked to have a murderer, mur murderer given to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. 
and by faith in his name. His name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know, and the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in, ign in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and return to God so that your sins may be wiped out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord and that he may send the Messiah appointed for you. That is Jesus who must remain in heaven until the time of universal restoration that God announced long ago through his holy prophets. Moses said, the Lord your God will raise up for you from your own people a prophet like me. You must listen to whatever he tells you and it will be that everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be utterly rooted out from the people and all the prophets as many as have spoken from Samuel and those after him also predicted these days. You are the descendants of the prophets and of the covenant that God gave to your ancestors saying to Abraham and in your descendants all the families of the earth shall be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Good morning, Joan. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. <clears throat> the Collect of the Day, Thursday in Easter week. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of recon reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for the Renewal of Life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when the night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A Collect for God's Plan of Salvation. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably upon your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery by the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up and things that have had grown old are being made new and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made. Your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and particularly those throughout the Anglican community, remembering today especially the Diocese of Bentu, South Sudan, the Right Reverend John Gatek Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Tuliar, Madagascar. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today, especially Becky and family, Patricia, Priscilla, Michael, Steve, Terry, Patrick, Deanna, Joey, 
Julia, Bob, John, Caroline and Kate and Christopher, Darcy, Ashley, Roland and Josh, Mindy, Gary, Eric, Marilyn, Bernie, Jan, Steve, Peter, Joe, Sal and Colleen, Chris, Alyssa, Jim and Jerry, Debbie, Jay and family, and Karen. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Thank you, Ian. We continue to pray for Al and for Joe and their spouses, Kathleen and Connie. May they quickly recover from their ailments. I think today I'll pray for a recovery from sickness. Oh God, the strength of the weak and the comfort of sufferers, mercifully accept our prayers and grant that your servants, the, grant your servants the help of your power, that their sickness may be turned into health and that our sorrow into joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And I'll pray for strength and confidence. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs and that they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Julie prays for all health care workers and caregivers. Yes, our health caregivers are so great. They do so much for those in need, don't they? We pray for them every day. Let us say a litany of thanksgiving. Let us give thanks to God our Father for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We thank you, Lord, for all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ. We thank you, Lord, for our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends. We thank you, Lord, for minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve. We thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play. We thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity. We thank you, Lord. 
for all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice. We thank you, Lord, for the communion of saints in all times and places. We thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your health and in the age, knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God's whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for gathering with me today. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming.